All right, so the next uh, type of bi biological molecule that we're going to discuss are proteins. And proteins are polymers of amino acids. And uh, DNA gets a lot of the headlines in terms of biological molecules, but probably most of the work and biochemical reactions done in your body uh, and most of the structural components are due to proteins. Uh, proteins are an essential biological molecule that help with structure, like uh, collagen in uh, tendons and um, cartilage. Uh, they help make muscles move. Uh, like myosin and actin contract muscle fibers. Uh, they help transport molecules, such as hemoglobin transports oxygen, um, lipoproteins, which we discussed in lipids, transport lipids. Uh, they store molecules, store nutrients. Uh, casein stores protein in milk. Uh, they also are hormones or regulate um, various processes like insulin is a protein that regulates uh, blood glucose levels uh, and there also are enzymes which metabolize uh, molecules they also uh, catalyze the synthesis of biological molecules such as other proteins and DNA and then, of course, uh, last, they also uh, provide protection for our body. Uh, immune, immunoglobulins uh, stimulate immune responses um, in our body. Okay, and so uh, to start off our topic of proteins, we'll first uh, start talking about what amino acids are. Now, there are 20 essential amino acids that you need in your body and have in your body. Amino acids will often get abbreviated AA. And their structure is uh, very similar, or the basis of their structure is very similar. All amino acids have this essential uh, basic structure. Okay, we've got a mean group bonded to a carbon, which is bonded to a carboxylic acid. And the amine group is bonded to the carboxylic acid through a central carbon. Central carbon is always bonded to one hydrogen, and it's always bonded to something else, which we're going to call the R group. And this is what changes for each amino acid. And so we'll look at a few, uh, but each, each of the 20 essential amino acids has a different uh, atom or sets of atoms uh, bonded to the central carbon uh, in that what we call the R group. You can see why we get the uh, where it gets the name amino acid from. All of these molecules have an amine group and a carboxylic acid group. And it's amino acids. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at a couple of different amino acids. All right, so let's start off with what I uh, consider the simplest amino acid, and that is where the carbon, the central carbon in the middle, is just bonded to a hydrogen. All right, and so that would be the R group for this amino acid, and this is glycine. Another amino acid could have something different bonded to that carbon in the middle. And if that is instead of a hydrogen atom, it is a methyl group. So the methyl group is the R group for this amino acid that makes this alanine.
So th those are uh, pretty simple uh, R groups. Uh, they can get um, very uh, complicated or more complicated, I don't know about very complicated. But here's one. Uh, if you think of the last time you uh, ate turkey, if it was, say, for Thanksgiving or something, uh, this gets a lot of publicity, this amino acid during that time, and this is tryptophan. And tryptophan has this structure. I'm going to run out of room. So there's an aromatic group, an amine here, and this is bonded to a hydrogen. So this is tryptophan. And then uh, we can also uh, talk about one more. I think we've got room for one more on this sheet of paper. Uh, let's talk about hmm, glutamine. So we've got our amine. And then here is what glutamine's R group is. It actually has a carboxylic acid side chain. So that is the R group for glutamine. So these are four of the 20 uh, amino acids in your body. They all have a name, and they also have uh, abbreviations uh, with them as well. They have a three-letter abbreviation, and glycine's uh, three-letter abbreviation is GLY. Alanine's is ALA. Tryptophan's is TRP. And glutamine's is... G L N. All of the uh, amino acids also have a single letter uh, letter abbreviation, and that's used primarily when you're talking about amino acid sequences. And proteins, you could have you know hundreds to thousands of amino acids, and so when you want to list them, you want to list them very conveniently. And so uh, glycines, uh, amino acid. One letter abbreviation is just G. Alanines is A. Tryptophans is W. And glutamines is Q. And so when you list uh, proteins with very long amino acid uh, chains, you often just list them as their one letter abbreviation. They're, that way you can quickly list all of them. And then if you need to, you can figure out what each one of those is.